So here is this. Uh, let's see if you can see it here. Doolit toaster. And I was doing some repair on it. The uh, heater filament had broken. Let's see here my repair job to it. Unfortunately, it was right on the edge, so it made it a little difficult to take care of. Uh, this is a British-made toaster. I'm suspecting it's handmade just because of the fact of the, this very high-quality mica uh, sheets, which are obviously... You know, that's got to be hand-wrapped. I can't imagine that a machine would have done any of this. And, all the mechanical connections here are bolted together. Uh, then it just runs off a, a timer switch with a rocker switch somewhere underneath here, down in there, <laughs> that determines whether or not it's one piece of toast or two, or bagels or English muffins or whatever. So uh, I didn't have anything on hand to be able to make a connector. I'm really not even sure if this is going to work because I'm using copper. I'm not even sure what toaster filament is made out of, but obviously it creates resistance within it to heat up and warm your toast. So I went with a little, little piece of copper there. I took some 12 gauge 12 gauge copper wire, a pair of vice grips, a hammer, and some time, and two hammers actually, one as the anvil and one as the, the mallet, and uh, hammered it out flat, then rolled it, folded it, and had to do a little trimming here and there, but uh, it actually worked as a crimp pretty well. So we will see what happens. Hopefully we don't light ourselves on fire, but uh, the continuity and resistance in all three units was exactly the same so I can't imagine it's going to cause more resistance I'm just I just don't know the longevity of that piece of copper um, compared to everything else but there we go